Well, it was a terrifying half hour for 28 people stuck upside down on a ride at Oaks Park this afternoon. While first responders and park staff did get riders back on the ground safely, we're hearing from some of them who say they'll never look at rides the same way again. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now live from Oaks Park in Southeast Portland with the story. Jeffrey. Nora Riel, this all happened on the park's opening day of the summer season. Roughly 30 people suspended upside down for about 30 minutes waiting for help. They're stuck upside down. Oh. Like if this was the ride? Like you're yeah. all upside down. I, I still feel the blood in my head like still like almost coming down from the rest of my body. Just before 3 Friday afternoon, a ride at Oaks Park called Atmosphere earned its name, trapping 28 people upside down for roughly half an hour. The park was shutting down and all this stuff. It was like really scary. Scary for a couple sixth graders watching as passengers aboard the ride were suspended head over heels. Both young girls hoping would soon get them down. We saw people's shoes like came off. <laughs> and I was pumped. I was like, 360, we better go upside down. <laughs> Stop. And it's hanging there for like a little bit. And I'm like, why is it hanging here so long? Like you immediately go into fight or flight. These two recent high school grads, Daniel and Jordan, were excited to try out one of Oaks Park's many, many rides. And opting for the atmosphere, they were unaware they were about to spend part of the day dangling upside down, watching as people around them passed out. Others throwing up, all the while their harnesses pressing firmly against their chests, making it hard to breathe. You're like, it's just like, you can't even take a deep breath. And there's people yelling up to you like, just breathe. Like, bro, I can't. <laughs> They're all going to faint, guys. They're all going to faint. The recent grads say many of the riders around them fell silent, some even losing feeling in their legs, patiently waiting for first responders to arrive. Is this, is this where I'm going to die? Like, and also this is the most terrifying way in life to die, I feel like. He yeah. had to like talk me through it. He's like, it's okay. Like, you're okay. I'm like, I. I can't feel my legs. Like, I'm okay, but when I can't I freaked feel out, anything. Yeah, she talked me through it. Yeah, when I she did. freaked out, I talked her through it. So we were both going back and forth with it. Fire crews arrived 20 minutes after staff at the park called 911, assisting engineering staff in getting the ride moving again in about 10 minutes, which was a sudden. I think it was like, whew. But positive change for the riders, who were eager to put the atmosphere in their rear view mirrors. But I'm like, shut the hell up. I don't care about the platform. Let me jump. Let me jump. All riders were safely helped off the ride by responding fire personnel, some emotionally. Just like in that state of like, oh my God, I'm never going to touch the ground again. I just like gave her the biggest hug. So we just like saw everyone like hugging and just yeah, like really, really scared. Sad. Daniel and Jordan say while they might be back, they'll definitely be steering clear of the atmosphere. Just the amount of trauma that I have to live with now. And the pain is not, not worth it. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my god, you guys, it's like legit stuff. According to Oaks Park, one rider who had a pre-existing medical issue was taken to the hospital out of an abundance of caution. All the riders went home with their families. The park says the ride will remain closed while they speak with the manufacturer about what went wrong. And also, if you were at the park today and... Um, your stay was cut short. The park is encouraging you to reach out to them about potentially getting a refund or coming during a different day. Reporting live from Oaks Park, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.